Okay, everyone. Hello. This is a very impromptu video. Honestly, this is like not a video I ever. Uh, I I only watched one of them, so I actually don't even know if it's right. I'm just assuming it's going around on YouTube. I never do the trendy things, but it's like reading people's assumptions about me, and I was like, why would I want? Like this is my thing. I was like, why would I want to read people's assumptions? About I know. Me? I don't really want to do it. I don't want to do it. I was like, this is stupid. But here I am doing it. She's here for moral support. But then I was like, fact checking. Mm. Yeah, you're, yeah, she's fact checking. So she's like gonna lie when I lie, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, oh yeah, guys, Morgan's here. Yeah. She told me to sit back here, very just in the back. Yeah, just she's a commenter. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Kinsey. Nice to meet you. If you guys are new here, subscribe. But today I'm doing the reading your assumptions about me video. People have been doing this all over YouTube. I'm sure you guys have seen it everywhere. This is the one time I'm jumping on a trend, and it's actually probably. This is like the least um, me thing to ever do. But here I am. Subscribe! You low-key lead guys on. No shame, sis. What would you say? Be honest. I mean, I, not really. You have a lot of like options, but they're more just like jokes. Yeah, I that's mean, so true. Kinsey's very outspoken about like, oh, my husband options and whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. No, I'm like, oh yeah, love of my life, but like I'll never date yeah. him. No, I don't think you lead people on. I actually really don't lead people on, and I don't actually give guys attention unless I'm genuinely very yeah. interested and in them. and it's not like you're out here like talking to a bunch of people. At all, people, I think people think that though. But like you don't at all. Thank you, I don't entertain the idea of a boy unless I'm like really about it. Yeah. And then, yeah, whatever, okay. I swear if one more person asks me about sex, I'm gonna lose my mind, Morgan. It is unbelievable. Like, you should see my questions and my DMs. Stop asking me, it's just annoying. Like, it's just really annoying. Let them know. Yeah, um, okay, you claim to be a Christian, but you still sleep around. I don't sleep around. Do whatever you want, I'm not sleeping around. Can she you confirm or deny? She doesn't whatsoever. Yeah, literally at all, so. Not in the slightest. <laughs> Thanks. At all. Okay, we get it. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Anyways, okay. You know, oh, Morgan, this one's good. You never, <laughs> you never went through a drinking phase. <laughs> well, that's quite the assumption, and it's quite wrong. That is false. Um, I went through my, um, I went through a phase. I met you kind of towards the end of that. You're Not lucky. really. Like there was that summer, I guess. I really stopped drinking a year ago. Yeah. When I started DLC. But I went through, I would say like 2016 was my phase. Mm -hmm. 2017 was more chill. 2018 I like stopped drinking, basically. But, false. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen you as a playlist list. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm a new person. I'm a new human being, guys. I'm a new human being. Um, it really is. It's like I actually really admirable. Yeah, it's like shocking. I was yeah. the least likely for that. You don't go out slash drink. True. True. Um, I literally. Well, we. It's not like we went to the bar, but like we were at a bar last night, and I ordered vegetables at the bar. She actually ordered. I like, roasted. Literally like, ordered cauliflower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And carrots. And we yeah. were like, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, you're hungry, do it. I was so hungry and like that was it. Um, and also, this is what this is what I actually do when I go out and people are drinking, I literally order Shirley Temples. It's incredible. Think about it. Shirley Temples taste good. You wake up the next morning and you feel fine. You can wake up early the next morning, like. I think Red Bull's fun. <laughs> look, like you were trying to be a born again virgin. Like I swear, Morgan, I'm gonna lose my mind. Um, you find it hard to be still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yes, I do find it hard to be still, but I like go too hard. Go too hard. It sounds so stupid. And then I like, all I want to do is do nothing. I feel like you've gotten better at like prioritizing rest in your life. Thank you. I was really working on that in 2018. Yeah. I've gotten better. Um, but yeah, I, I would say I definitely find it hard to be still. That you have one of the best podcasts ever. Oh, true. I'm agreeing. I'm oh, just laughing. <laughs> um, okay, okay. You definitely pull. You what? You definitely pull. Like I pull. Oh, I thought you said pull. Like pull dance? No, like TK's Juicy Pulls. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, no. Mm, 
actually, I would say it depends on the mood that I'm in. It depends on the stage of life that I'm in too. But I just don't give boys attention. That's the thing. Like I don't, like I really, if I, I won't even like text someone to like text them to like. Yeah, Kenzie's not boy crazy. She's like jokingly boy crazy, but, but it's like to us just to be funny, but she's not actually. I'm not boy crazy actually in the slightest. Like, and then when I'm over something, I'm over it. I'm like, mm. yeah. So, when you fall for a guy, you fall hard. I'd say you fall slowly. Just in my experience. Yeah, I feel like I'm very like loyal. Like, because it takes me a lot to actually like someone, that when I actually like someone, I really like them. Well, it's because you're not over here like, I don't know, if you're gonna date someone, you're gonna like seriously date them. Yeah, I'm not it's just- not like you're yeah. bouncing between a different guy every month. You know? Yeah, that's true. I will say though that I should leave in the the past boys that I've like seen I should have left way earlier than I did every single time Because I'm like when I finally like someone I'm like, oh, I actually like them So then I'm like I like make things work that I like shouldn't not that I'm like not that it's really jeopardizing like me I guess it is in a way though. You know what I'm saying Morgan? I'm having a hard time listening so I'm tired Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I agree. You know I agree. <laughs> I make, I think I make excuses for them. Yes. Yeah. I do. I know what you mean. Um, you have a Tesla. Yep. Totally. <laughs> Bougie as cuss word. Would you? I'm not. You do you think I am? No, but like you. I like nice things, but I also like not nice things. Here's here's the difference between me and you. This is the only comparison I can make. I will buy a bag and you won't. Ways. You are can be and not often because it's not like an irresponsible thing. It's not like yeah. you're like blowing your money on all these designer things. You responsibly invest in like bougie things, which I don't. Yeah. But I invest in bougie experiences, and you don't. You know yeah. I mean? Like even like you'll go like if I go out to eat. I mean, even even if I drank, I probably wouldn't order drinks all the time if I went out to eat, like that sort of thing. Cause I'm like, I don't want to spend $20 on a drink, but I will buy like a Gucci bag. But you wouldn't do that. Yeah. I see what you're saying. And so like, not I even traveling. Like, I, go to, I would go to catch every weekend if I had people to go with and yeah. you would rather like. I'm also kind of more of a homebody. I'm like getting out of that, but I'm within a homebody phase. I would go to catch more though. No, I know. That was just, that was a bad example. That was just like a. Yeah. No, I know what you're saying. You're right. I don't know. You you're like. Right. I feel like you like simpler like social things, and I just like doing it big. I like simple social things. That is definitely yeah. <laughs> Loves Abercrombie button downs. <laughs> oh. You want to move out of the valley? No. If I moved out of the valley, I would want to move on like like Robertson area in West Hollywood, but like I don't want to move out of the valley for like probably like three years. You were always hanging out with your friends. Yeah. Yeah, literally, I was thinking about that today, and it's- It like overwhelms me a little how much you spend time with other people. I'm always, it's because of school. So like, because we go to things together all the time, and because like, even like Sav is one of my best friends, but Sav and I are doing marketing for ZLC stuff, so we work together too. Yeah. So like, like for instance, okay, let me just, I'll do this quick. Thursday night, we have girls night with everyone. They, like my school friends, Come on, focus. Get the lighting fixed. All right. Um, they spent the night, and then they all left that morning. And Caleb was here, and Caleb left. Then they all left. I worked out, went back to the studio, met Caleb, up with Caleb again. Caleb left there. I went to go meet with Morgan. Then we all went to dinner reservations. Then we went to the Grove. I picked up Dawn from work. She spent the night. We went to connect today. Dawn was here. Dawn went home. Morgan came. Like I'm, yeah, I'm with people a lot. And because we can just do homework together, so it's like whatever. But on Mondays during the day and Fridays during the day, I'm normally not because that's when I like really buckle down. Olivia says, you started the oat milk trend and don't get enough credit for it and it bugs you daily. It doesn't bother me. I did not start the oat milk trend, but I do think I was the first to be, one of the first to be extremely obnoxious about it. Yeah, for sure. You started it kind of with like our circle. Yeah, obviously. like our friends, definitely. Like anyone, if you're in my life, you probably got oat milk from me. Yeah. But I'm just happy to see that you like oat milk. Like. I, I have the spiritual gift of evangelizing. That's why I feel Lizzo. <laughs> yeah, truth hurts, Lizzo, that's 100% you. Everyone, like literally Dom loves Texas, talks about it all the time. She's like, never been, but I love it there. And she's like, serious. So just things like that. Obsessed with coffee. Yeah, I drink coffee all the time. The way there was one that I knew that was like really good. A lot of these are the same ones because 
All you guys care about is asking you about sex. I'm not kidding. Always happy and positive. No. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. But like, I feel like it depends on who you're asked that to. Cause if it's like someone I'm super tight with, then I'll like, if I'm frustrated, like I'll like talk to you about why I'm mad. But like, if I'm not that tight with you, I would not like do that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But definitely not. Uh, the last one is you date all of your friends. <laughs> No, just one. Okay, which one are you? Just a couple. I'm like, yeah, which one are you talking about? Because I'm like, <laughs> no. Well, everyone you date has been your friend. Yeah, that's true. But you don't date all of your friends. Thank you. So they needed to think about phrasing. Yeah, think about that. Phrase it a little bit better. I also do get, like, people do try to fight me about this sometimes. And here's the deal. I vlog my life. So it's very difficult if I'm hanging out with a boy and I'm vlogging week in my life vlogs. Trust me, I have kept it out of vlogs for like months at a time and you guys have known nothing. And then if there's a boy in my vlog, a lot of the time you guys just assume and then if you guys assume and are correct, whatever. <laughs> it's like, no, anytime you hang out with a guy ever, like I posted a story, literally I was getting drinks with like my best guy friend from high school, okay, who is engaged to someone else. Yeah. <laughs> I post a photo, he's not even in it, it you, but you can tell it's like a guy's hand on a drink and my drink. All these people respond to me like, girl, are you dating? Who's that? I'm like, A, I wouldn't show you. B, no, it's just a guy. Like, actually, if you see a guy, there's a bigger chance that we're not dating him than we are. Than we are. Because we yes, wouldn't show Because it, if you know I am mean? actually into someone, this is, I've gotten, argue, not arguments, but I've said this to guys before. I'm like, if I'm actually, like, if I'm not posting you on social media, that's a good sign. Because that means yeah. I actually like you. But if I start posting you on social media, that's pretty much when it's going to go downhill. Yeah, it's just such a mistake, I think. It's a mistake. Like, I think if I seriously date someone, I'll post them. But the thing is, it's just hard when you vlog your life and then you're with them all the time. Because if I don't have boys in my, if I don't, then I just don't have footage. Because yeah. it's like, I'm with no, them feel. all the time. Like when people start dating someone and like immediately start tagging them and like posting them and stuff, I just, I'm like, that's going to Yeah, be it's annoying. It's and then people are like... Bad. There's like blah blah blah. Who's this? Where did this person go? And it's like I'm also 21 and like I'm in college and you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. People are so stupid. <gasps> okay, well, conveniently we're running out of storage, so love you guys so much. Anything else that you would like to say, Morgan? Um, no, Kinsey's pretty non-controversial. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like his. You're so like loud and like jokingly dramatic about things that people would assume a lot of things that are incorrect. People, I think people think I'm like a air, like a valley girl airhead a lot of the yeah. time, and like that really isn't the I case. Feel like if I didn't know you. Yeah, you I would, would think that. Think, like, I don't know. Like no, if I were making sure. hard assumptions, I'd be like, oh, um, I don't know. Or valley girl, or whatever. No, yeah. for sure. Like especially with my humor, I don't think or people be like, oh, she really goes after a ton of guys or like whatever. Yeah, but like I don't actually give any of them any attention. Nope. It's kind of beautiful. Mm -hmm. I kind of like, like I used to kind of bother me that people would think that because I felt like it like discredited things that I would say, but now I actually like it because they don't see it coming. So I like can use it to my advantage. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Is that like really manipulative? No, it's just finding the good and the bad. You know, right? Is yeah. that manipulative? <laughs> Anyways. Um, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know. That's it. Don't actually, no more assumptions about me in the comments. Just nice things. This is a really happy, positive space here. Words. Encouraging words. I didn't yeah. contribute much of anything to this. I don't know why I was told to sit back here. You were the it. fact checker so that I wasn't going to, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Okay. All right. Love you guys so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.